is let us look at what forensic medicine and toxicology is forensic science forensic medicine and toxicology is okay toxicology is all about the poisons uh, the nature of poisons the treatment etc forensic medicine goes more with uh, the application of medical knowledge for this for serving justice that is how they uh, define it to help the legal procedure okay so guys uh, you will have to do autopsy or you will have to just look at autopsy actually you will be called in whenever there is a, a death and the postmortem has to be conducted you will have to just go and watch it observe how the dead body is cut open all the types of incisions what and all you are supposed to observe right before cutting open etc so basically what are the ethics involved what are the legal procedures all that you should know as such syllabus right you need to know the uh, types of court uh, right supreme court high court session courts so many types of courts the procedures you can be called uh, so you will be uh, given a summons there could be a summons issued you will have to go there you will have to need, know, need to know the uh, procedure that happens in a court all that will be taught cross examination how to handle all that and what uh, is a dying declaration right you should know all these terms basically you will have to know these legal sections you know like section 320 grievous hurt section 300 murder you will have to know these sections okay then coming to death uh, death they will tell you what exactly is death what are the stages in death how to define the time since death main thing is the time since death cause of death right if you can you sh you're supposed to find the cause of death right all that you will have that is the main thing right all that you will have to know actually it is not just death sometimes even an injury right this grievous hurt um, you will have to issue a wound certificate you will have to issue an aid certificate all that also comes under forensic it's not just death so if somebody says forensic science is about death no it's not death in case of rape in case of uh, sexual assault yes in case of wound in case of road traffic accident you may be called in to give your opinion okay so uh, what are the changes after death like we told you the cooling of the body that is the algor mortis the postmortem staining putrefaction that is the decomposition right all that you will have to know like the time how it happens so you can estimate the time since death etc what is an inquest so uh, when there is a murder then the police are called to conduct the inquest to find the cause of death if it is a suspicious death so guys forensic science <clears throat> you are able to get the idea right what exactly it is good identification you know sometimes the person has to be identified right you need to know whether the body belongs to that person right so then identification then basically um, examination of a bone skeletal remains exhumation that is taking the body out of its grave so all these are uh, the things that are taught in forensic science medical legal autopsy that is what we told you it is post mortem right it is a special type of scientific examination of the dead body under the laws of the state to serve justice to its people such things these definitions you will have to know then coming to the chapter mechanical injuries and wounds you will have to know the different types of wounds like blunt wounds sharp wounds abrasion contusion laceration incised wounds stab wounds which these incised and stab wounds can be the sharp wounds right then so road traffic accident type of injuries railway injuries itself becomes a separate topic right then um, what exactly you should know here let's see wait weapons what are the types of weapons what is a dangerous weapon right you should know about firearms right you should know about the guns the types of guns the bullets how, what type of injury does a bullet cause etc examination um, in case of injury you should know whether it was an accidental injury a suicidal injury or a homicidal injury you should be able to differentiate if it's suicidal injury there could be some hesitation cuts usually it will be on the non dominant part like a right handed person will inflict it on his left hand right or a left part of his body so you will be able to identify whether it is a suicidal or a homicidal or an accidental right homicidal means a murder type of thing injuries can be simple grievous fatal so simple okay simple you understand grievous actually has a, a section 320 right uh, where a, a grievous hurt can carry more punishment right then you have fatal injury obviously that will have even more punishment etc so basically there are a lot of things here then asphyxial death right what are the types of asphyxia there can be drowning drowning itself can be a type of asphyxia right sexual offenses rape right here the concept of a virgin male virgin female may come in right then coming to pregnancy 
you should be able to look at the signs of pregnancy in the living in the dead what if the dead what are the signs of pregnancy in the dead also you should know all this infanticide you should know the death of the child below 1 year or the murder of a child below 1 year can be infanticide biological fluids like in case of the living you will have to collect the semen or uh, vaginal secretions etc to or rule out rape etc when it comes to the dead body they collect the blood the urine the content of the stomach etc to know if it's a case of poisoning so a lot of things will be taught there right then let us quickly look at the other things forensic psychiatry guys forensic psychiatry especially uh, the types of um, a mental illness or uh, that can be there right so that can be like um, you should know the mental health act if a person is trying to fake his illness mental illness you should be able to identify sometimes a person will have to be certified as sound or in mind or not sound in mind any anyways this comes more in the psychiatry right but forensic psychiatry is a combination of these two where for the justice it is uh, brought in the psychiatry right then coming to medical jurisprudence that is like uh, medical the ethics the laws the discipline right um, uh, the doctors uh, what how, what ethics he should have right privileged communication professional secrecy malpractice negligence then what is the punishment for negligence what is the doctor's defense in case of negligence right all that will be taught organ transplant act how exactly an organ transplant is con uh, conducted who are the people who are allowed to even take part in it how is it going guys are you able to understand what exactly forensic science is shall we continue with few more topics okay let's move on euthanasia etc toxicology they will teach you the classification of poisons metallic poisons animal poisons corrosive poisons so many types of poisons are there on earth right so all the poisons you should know the characteristics what exactly are the symptoms specific antidotes for these poisons even in the practical exam they can keep these uh, poisons uh, like these seeds the pura and all these and they can ask you to identify the poison as a spotter right some poisonous plants are there some poisonous seeds some poison uh, acids right they can keep a lot of things you should know on these okay welcome to forensic science people it is a very interesting subject it's easy also not so difficult just um, focus try to understand what they teach in the college learn by what you see okay it's day to day life actually forensic science and uh, many times what happens is uh, as a doctor you should think forensic because uh, somebody might be murdering somebody trying to put it as a accidental death or a suicide you should be very cautious about such things as a doctor okay that's all for now bye bye